All right, guys, so we had fun with the wigs. Honestly, doing makeup is kind of fun now. I took a huge portion of my day. And you know what? It's so fun. Like, I do love wigs, but it's so fun, too. Like, you kind of just, like, appreciate your hair. I love it. Like, I love the wig. Like, it was so fun. But people, of course, people are already getting so offended by it. Oh, gosh. I really, this is why I don't like to apologize as much as I used to for things. Like, obviously, if I mess up, like, in the past, I did really stupid ignorant videos. And if I mess up, I want to, like, acknowledge that. But people really are just too much. I think the biggest thing is hairstyles. People get way too offended over people's hairstyles. Um, like, here's the thing, like if African-American culture, I'm assuming they originated it, the dreadlocks, I mean, that's obviously what most people are saying I'm appropriating is that culture. Like, so, like where was, oh, like kimonos for instance. Like when you go to Japan, like they are flattered that you think kimonos are like fashion. You know what I mean? Like that that's a trend. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just, for me, it's like, it's, it's more like, oh, that's really cool. Like this culture started something like that's cool. Like, yeah, it's not, I guess my culture or whatever, but like, I, I think it's beautiful. I think dreadlocks are really gorgeous. I think they look aesthetically nice on, on everybody, females, males, um, every hair color. And like, for me, it's not like, for, well, for me, no matter what I do, everything is going to be offensive. <laughs> um, like, people are always going to get offended because it's me. Like, I could, like, even me liking my Kumo Call Romance at the beginning of this year, people were offended by it. You know, like, something so, because there was nothing for it to be offended by earlier this year. I was like, I don't know, I guess pretty, being pretty good. <laughs> Everyone was, like, so mad. They're like, oh, my gosh, she's such a fake fan. She doesn't know any songs. Like, just not even knowing anything about me. But anyways, I was like, okay. So I like, I guess, but the, the, and I know the braid thing too, like people get offended if people wear braids. It's like, I don't know, I guess chime in if you are, um, like if you ever, if you, if you, if you agree with me or if you think I'm like wrong and that's totally fine. Cause it, to me, it's like, I know I'm not being offensive. I know I'm literally just doing it cause I'm like, think it's beautiful. And I think that look is beautiful and dry out. I mean, same reason why we tan and people don't really get too offended over people tanning their skin. It's like. I like the aesthetic of a darker skin. Like, I'm pretty pale right now, um, but I like that aesthetic more. I guess so. Um, I don't know. But that's, like, I guess that's, like, more socially acceptable, which I don't really know why because you are still, like, changing. I mean, I literally bought self-tanner to, like, change my skin color. You know what I mean? Um, and I guess maybe people think because, like, you can naturally get tan, it's fine. I don't know, but... Um, Yeah, I don't know. Like, but that stuff is just, like I said, that I'll never apologize for. It's, like, literally taking something, or taking inspiration from a culture, which I think is beautiful. Kind of like my Hebrew language one. People thought that was offensive. I literally think the Hebrew language is so beautiful. Um, and my friend speaks it fluently, and he sounds so freaking hot when he speaks it on the phone. I was like, I want to learn it. Like, I literally love the way Hebrew sounds. And people are like, oh my God, how dare she? It's like, I don't know. If people, I don't know why anybody would, but if anyone ever took inspiration from me, I would be flattered. I'd be like, oh, cool. I don't know. I just, I know like it's partially me too. And just like, I can't win. Cause of like, but here's the thing. People are like, you were a troll and you've trolled so many times. And it's like, I mean, I get it. Like, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm like arguing that point at all. It just kind of sucks because that's going to be me forever, I guess. That I, people are just going to always assume I'm trolling. Um, which sucks. So like, I am a real person too. But like I said, I do get it. I'm not... It's how I made whatever name I have, I guess. But you know, sometimes it's not always good. Making a name is not always good. I'm fine with it. Like I said, I am fine. I come to... It's kind of like when you're like so far gone from something, you're just like, oh. There's not really any correcting it. Not to say I want to keep, I mean, I could go the other way and just say, oh, F it. I'm just going to keep being offensive and crazy. Um, I can never get the back of my hair. <laughs> not that anyone sees the back. Oh, I love how I'm so concerned about the back of my hair. I have to see the back of my hair. But yeah, I mean, anyone else during quarantine though, like their new natural hair just growing. 
because we don't have to do it as often. Like I literally still only wash it like once a week. I'm like barely putting any heat on it. I'm definitely not teasing it or getting it styled. Like I miss it and I love that part of me, but it's been a nice break. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to heat optimistic. Like last week I did get a little negative and I do get a little anxious at times, but I've been trying to keep positive. And I, I guess like after a while, everything becomes the new normal. Just like, I mean, I've never been to prison, but I'm like, probably like when you go to prison and um, like probably the first month you're in there or whatever, they're like shocked. But I'm sure you get a prison routine. Like I watch a lot of people's videos of who've been to prison. Oh, you know who's a perfect example of a girl with really beautiful dreadlocks is Christina Randall. Is that her name? The girl who does the prison story times. She went to prison. I'm not sure what she went to prison with. <laughs> I watched all her videos and I have yet to go back to like her first ones where she talked about why she went to prison. But I think she was there a few years. And um, anyways, she, start, she starts talking about it like it's just like routine. Like it's just, it just became normal. It just was like life, like going to church in jail. Um, you know, what she ate in jail, like flirting with the guards in jail. Like that just becomes your, your normal. Um... I mean, obviously the closest thing I have to being in jail is being in a mental hospital. <laughs> That's why when people like to, I mean, especially when it comes to mental health issues and mental illness, if people like to say, they like to criticize me for talking about mental health, it's like, you know, maybe I'm not the most educated on like terminology and stuff, but I'm in a freaking mental hospital and usually people who are any sort of normal avoid going to a mental hospital. Like quote unquote stable or people that don't have mental health issues or at least not that severe usually don't end up in a, in a mental hospital. Chances are, if you're watching this, you haven't been involuntarily put on hold in a mental hospital. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and not to say that's like, oh, that gives me credit or whatever, but at the end of the day, there's, I know there's a lot of things wrong with me. The relationships I keep and how I function with people, like, I know it's not normal. <laughs> I just wanted to like kind of feel normal today. So anyways, that's my little spiel. I love you guys. See, it's kind of like punk rock. I kind of like it. <laughs>